It's a flyweight matchup between Sergio Pettis and Juicy A. Formiga. So here he is, the Nova Uniao staple Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Juicy A. Formiga. This guy is as good a back taker, Joe, as any flyweight in the world. Really, anybody in any division, this is not a gentleman you want anywhere near your back. This guy has some of the best defense I've ever seen inside the octagon, and they say that defense is the best offense. fighters on the UFC roster. Here is the flyweight contender, Sergio Pettis. Outstanding kickboxing game. Pretty opportunistic submission guy as well. He's been in there with a lot of the UFC's best in the flyweight division. Now the focus, Joe, is on trying to get the opposition out of there. Most of its wins have been by decision. They have been dominant. Now a finish would be useful for Sergio Pettis tonight. This guy has world-class choking techniques in all varieties, be it guillotine, choke, rear naked, Dars Anaconda. If this guy gets a hold of your neck, you've got problems. Hard tail of the tape for this flyweight fight. Pettis is 24. Formiga is 32. Pettis will have the two-inch reach advantage. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, only a professional record of 21 wins, five losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of the tall Brazil, Juicia Formiga! And now he's his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter. Will be a professional record of 17 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Sergio Aquino Pettis! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Are uh, you ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, we are underway here at the home of the UFC, the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. All right, here we go, round one, and there is Sergio Pettis. His first amateur fight was when he was 15 years old. Finished a 22-year-old with a first round head kick knockout. Most of his UFC wins, though, by decision. A finish for Sergio Pettis would be of particular use here tonight. Pettis gets caught with that punch. All right, first round is underway, and I don't have to tell the Avid fans, you gotta watch out for this fighter's powerful overhand punches. He does not discriminate power from both sides, and a big part of his game plan, obviously, coming in here tonight. Connects with the punch there. Wow, that left high kick came out of nowhere. Excellent head movement. Formiga gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught They're there. They're going after it quick here. Just a slip there. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Tags up. Nice, very nicely done. And he's looking for that left. Ooh, nice roundhouse kick, Joe. That'll work on the highlight reel. That one hurt. How about that shin?
Oh, nice. We cross the midpoint in round one. Formiga gets in the clutch. Good combination so far from both men. Formiga's got the double underhooks here on the clinch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do with it. Control him, looks for the choke. Drop down for it. This is, could be it. He might be forced to tap. This choke is getting tighter and tighter. He got it, he got it. Nicely done. He got the choke for the tap. Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Now we go inside Ladies the octagon. Bruce Buffer has Dan the official Ray decision. Has stop to this contest at two minutes, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Chuchia So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I got to mute those naysayers. And they're not going to keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the submission. And now all that's left is to celebrate with his coaches and training partners. What a moment for this oncoming fighter here tonight.